I'd like to start if you could clear up something in my mind that I assume confuses a, a lot of people out there as well, which is this this business of the gov the U.S. government's investment in General Motors. Uh, g the government owns about 32 percent of General Motors. Sometimes that's common stock, as I understand it, but that's often characterized as a loan that needs to be repaid to the U.S. government. C can you explain the right lingo to me on that, please? Well, I mean, you're street smart, financial savvy guy. There was debt, there was preferred, and there was common stock that the, comp that the government owned. And um, we've paid back all of our debt, we've repaid all of our preferred, and we sold down from uh, 60 plus, 62 percent on a fully diluted basis. They actually only own 27 percent of the company. And all of that was remitted to the government. And um, that totals just around 23, 24 billion dollars has been returned. So do we owe them in the sense of debt? They're a shareholder now. In fact, they're, they're our largest shareholder. And they have the ability at their call, not ours, to sell that stock at any one point in time. So there's nothing owed in the sense that there's equity that they own, which is not debt. By your characterization, it's, it's the government's call more than it's General Motors' call when the government will end its ownership position in General oh, yeah, Motors. Clearly. We have large shareholders. We have 200,000 plus. We have a marquee listing of uh, first tier, bulge bracket uh, pension funds and whatnot and, um, and mutual funds. And the government uh, is a large shareholder. They're not in the boardroom. They don't have representation in the boardroom. Why not, by the way? Excuse me. Wouldn't it make sense for such a large shareholder, almost a third of the shares, to have representation? Well, I think that's a question better asked of the government. But uh -huh. I think what they wanted, uh, I don't know anything about politics or uh, the management of a national economy. And I think they, uh, in my opinion, wisely said, let's get the, brought in a new board after the bankruptcy, reconstituted the board with old directors, if you will, directors that were there prior to the bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. I came in with that new group, mm -hmm. and they said, okay. I, I think they would have trouble getting business executives to come in and say, is the government going to manage this business, or are we going to have business people manage the business. Can you explain to me what level of interaction there, there is? There's no formal board representation. Is there a, you know, a, 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 a monthly interaction? Is there someone minding the store from their perspective, in other words, formally? No. no. Then, remember, I have a fiduciary responsibility. The board has a fiduciary responsibility to all of our shareholders, uh -huh. regardless if they own a thousand shares or a million shares. And once we took it public, uh, uh, we have certain uh, restrictions, SEC restrictions. Do we unfairly disclose information to one shareholder, regardless if they have 27% of the company or 1%? And the answer is no. Prior to us going public, re-entering the public markets, yeah. yes, they got monthly reports. They looked mm -hmm. at our financials, and, uh, and they, they, we had shareholder meetings uh, before it went public, and they'd show up and they'd, they'd vote for or against various uh, directors and various proposals that uh, were before the shareholders, of which there were four at the time. Two of them, the you know, Canadian government also put money into the mm -hmm. company at the time of the bankruptcy. Do you have a sense of what the government's timeline is? No. And do you, how often do you communicate with the president? Because this is a very important investment for the United States government. I think I've spoken to the president twice. And, uh, you mean since you became CEO? Yes, yes. And, and he visited uh, one of our Detroit area plants uh, with the president of Korea when the free trade agreement was signed between the United States and South Korea. I think the president is a supporter of the company, obviously, as was the Bush administration. Um, but uh, objectively, candidly, they don't involve themselves in the day-to-day -day running of the business.